Hi, um, this is a blog to um, discuss web on, um, sorry, that George Groves has uh, parted company with Frank Warren Promotions. Well, my initial thoughts were, well, everyone's got their reasons, Kawasaki did it. Maybe he was just trying to, maybe there's something going on behind scenes that no one knows about. Maybe he was taking too much of Groves' money. Maybe um, he wasn't Groves wasn't happy with the progress of his career. Maybe Groves wanted to just go in a different direction, fancied a change. And the promotion he's been linked with is Matchroom, which I think is a is a good move for Groves. And um, well, he can probably give him a bit more regular action. No pun intended. I think what, what Groves is trying to do is build up his career. I think he's not get. I, I think with the progress of his career went last year. I think he was expecting a bit more. I think he only fought twice last year. I think he fought once. But he fought that Mexican in uh, California, and then he fought um, what's his face Johnson in December. I mean, there were five months difference between that. I think Groves thinks he should be a bit more regularly active and, um, well, the rest is history, I suppose. Sorry if that, if that made sense, feel free to slaughter me in the comments if you watch it. If you do watch it, I'd, really, I'd very much appreciate it if you left a comment, left a like or a dislike. I'm really not bothered. All feedback's, all feedback's welcome. You can send me hate mail if you like. Please don't do that. And um, I think that, um, well, Groves is unhappy with the way his career was going. Frank's obviously going to be a bit disappointed. And he's also forfeited his position as man as challenger for the vacant European title. Which, I don't see how his promotion... Maybe I don't realise it, maybe... The, I'm, I, I don't know all the ins and outs of it, but I don't, I don't get seem to understand how changing his promotion changes his fight with um, what's his face Muhammad Al or something or other and um, well I keep, I keep stuttering and I do apologise I know the quality is not too good I'm doing this on my phone I haven't got a working camera well we've still got a good card coming up we've got Ricky Burns and Nathan Cleverly Maybe the Billy Joe Saunders fight will be pushed up a bit, you know, to to replace the card. Which, Billy Joe Saunders at the moment is our best rising middleweight prospect. And who knows, he could step up to super middleweight. Mind you, I think he's already stepped up from junior, junior, well, uh, junior middleweight. But, nevertheless. Looking forward to see what Groves does next, seeing if he's gonna if he gets his back his position as challenger for the European title, or if he goes and fights for the world title, or he, he builds up. I was having a discussion with one of my fr well, I won't say a close friend, but a, I'd say a friend on Twitter, Bailoric TV. You've probably heard of him. Uh, I suggested that he fight Kieran. I think it's Kieran Hart. I think he just came, he's coming off a loss against Darren Barker, and I thought that'd be a good fight, a good building fight for Groves. But he obviously he, po he clearly pointed out that it wouldn't be, it'd be be a step down from Johnson. But nevertheless, he's gonna go and do something with that. He's not going to go fight, sorry, I don't want to be getting people's up, so. I thought he'd fight for an intercontinental title now, do you know, trying to, I thought that fight would bring the, with the, especially with, seems like, match and go after the IBF crown. And obviously defending his commonwealth. Well, I'll leave you all to get on with it. Thanks for watching. Bye.